All right, Starseed, Starseeds, Lightworkers, Earth Angels, or Chosen Ones. If you identify with any of those, or if it's been coming across your path a lot, or maybe the curious bug bitch it, and you're just curious of what it's about, stay tuned because there's probably something here for you. We're going to be talking about what it pertains to you or for you and your strengths, your gifts, your abilities, and shifting into 5D, ascension, awareness, the spiritual path, okay? Expanding our consciousness, right? We're going to have two groups here. With group one, I have this jade stone with the howling woof, a woof, <laughs> and the crescent moon. And then this group two is this beautiful little aqua colored necklace that my husband brought home to me yesterday. It's a sweet little color. There's gold on the other side. <clears throat> so that's group one, group two, and of course, we're going to get activation cards out for you as well. If you're drawn to both groups, that's fine too. We have a very beautiful serpent dragon for group one. <laughs> and we've got radical expansion on it. Wow. I love that for you. We were literally just talking about that for group two. Okay. Again, talking about ascending, rising up, activating. Um, you're you're going to be really busy, group two. Okay. What's the key word? Reclaiming your energy. Okay. Being open. Reclaiming your energy across all time and space. I also want to get another activating card for you. Group one. What else do we have for group one? Okay. Never mind. We're not going to show it right now. Okay. It's going to be revealed in your read. But I want to go ahead and get a few cards out so you can see me pull them. Okay. So you know I'm not going through and picking. I don't know. I feel like somebody there is going to have like that connotation towards us readers. Oh, you went through and you rigged the decks. You know, you, you went through and you you told them which ones you wanted. You picked them out and you, you set it all up. What, what the fuck ever. Group one, I'll be right back with you. All right, group one, if you chose the jade, um, you might want to look up the properties for jade. Also, you might know somebody named jade, uh, but also I think you might need stone jade, okay? So look into that. For yours, we have that radical expansion, right? It is time for radical ways of being and thinking, and you can start by granting yourself the freedom and create creativity to be you. Unleash your inner rainbow dragon. Oh, that's what that is. It's a rainbow freaking dragon. And unapologetically claim your heart-based empowerment and radiantly unconventional gifts. You can be as big as your energy wants to be. Let go of limiting stories and take up all the space you fucking need. Have fun unleashing who you are, as bold and radical as your ideas or offerings might be. They could be just what the world is waiting for, what the world wants. Be the masterpiece your soul always wanted you to be. Be that masterpiece, those parts of you that you kept hidden from others because, you know, you were afraid to seek individuality. You were afraid to, for somebody to say, oh God, you're weird. What's wrong with you? Are you a fucking freak? There's like no more, okay? You're stepping out of your comfort zone. You're unleashing your inner rainbow dragon. You're letting your freak flag fly. You don't give no fucks, right? So if you would like to pause and look at this too, this can be very activating for you. 333 was on the timer. And look, this is coming out of her heart. Like, because truly at heart, this is who you are. 343 on the timer. This is who you're becoming. Let's see what other cards go up here change it's a radical change number 12 or number three i did notice that the timestamp was at 212 the frequency of change supports our ability to gracefully dance with forever changing nature of reality both inward and outward so that we can appreciate the sweet release of the old and the birth of the new wow these cards go hand in hand right these tiny tiny writings here let me get my second spectacles on um like, this is what she's doing on this card. She's dancing with the forever changing of uh, reality, both inward and outward. Our outer areas reflect our inner, and our inner reflects our outer, right? Expansion, growth, change, knowledge, wisdom coming into you. Something about clouds here, too. You could be reading clouds or seeing clouds. I saw a lot of clouds yesterday. It looked like little beings, little angels with wispy hair and wispy wings, and it was just, it was beautiful. So whenever you feel like you're seeing something in the clouds, they're really there because I believe that there are cloud gods and goddesses. Four, five, six on the timer. Reflect God's compassion. 
Be kind to each other, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, just as God, through Christ, has forgiven you. Because you've already been forgiven by the Most High. I feel like another card wants to come out here. Compassion. And this card literally is talking about being compassionate. Oh my god, it says reflect God's compassion. Oh, I can't make this up. And then this one wants to come out, and that one, and that one. Wow, group one. You got a lot of cards. God is talking straight to you. The Most High is talking straight to you. Make sure you are, um, these are very activating as well. You might really be really drawn to the design or the colors in it too. So feel free to like pause, you know, screenshot, zoom in, and really like study, but not too hard. Like don't force yourself to take it all in, you know what I mean? But just like look over and see if you pick up anything intuitively as well. The frequency of compassion supports our ability to stand by others without judgment and be the divine mediator between heaven and earth, spirit and matter, so that unconditional love can flow from source through our heart and into the world. And that's like literally what you're being activated for. So things can flow through your heart into the world. Source, Christ consciousness, the most high God, Sending you angels, whomever you resonate with. Okay, love 622. Going to be seeing those double master numbers as well. You're mastering something. Bringing in those, bringing in those light codes, sharing them, like light language, dragon light language, messages from the dragons, any other kind of fey realm. Um, I posted a TikTok the other day, and I was drawn to uh, share this little, the sticker on the video, the cover has the aurora borealis on there so you might want to go check out my tiktok i think the link should be below next card is the allowance number nine here's three six and nine okay tesla's coming to mind maybe you're doing a lot of research on him or things the three six nine number um look up the three six nine method where we do our positive affirmations three times in the morning, six times in the afternoon, nine times at night. You do that for two weeks. You have to stay consistent with it, okay? The frequency of allowance invites us to be open to whatever comes our way without judgment, without opinion, without fear, and without resistance. When we allow, the universe becomes our partner in the wondrous dance of existence and expansion. Again, talking about dancing in the expansion of things. Oh, but you're finding delight in this. This one keeps wanting to go on the floor. The frequency of delight supports our capacity to create and experience feelings of intense joy and happiness. The, the more delight we feel, the more delight we in evoke in others. And also, this came through earlier, too, before I even had the idea to do this pick a card today. It was like, for some people around you, the light and the energies that are coming in are bringing up those old wounds. Those things that need to be healed, the triggers the emotional pain, the trauma, whatever it is, okay? But for you, group one, especially if you resonate with the lone wolf energy over here and you've kept a lot of your healing and the ideas and stuff that you've been going through, the frequencies, self whatever. Um, let's, what are we getting at here? Let me hold my, or like my angel light crystal here. See, I'm losing our train of thought. That's an energetic thing. Okay, thank you. So they are, some people are going through extreme shame and guilt and hurt right now because they're having to, something may have happened to them here in the present that they're having to live through. But um, for a lot of people, it's stuff from the past and reflection, things that were said or did in the past, whether they said it or did it or it was said or done to them, right? And for us light workers and star seeds, we've gone through that. We've combed through it. We've done our healing. We've done our releasing. We've done our forgiveness, you know, and we've we've set structural boundaries for ourselves within us and without us and around us, with ourselves and with others around us. And what we're feeling now on this on this conscious level is joy and happiness. So it's like the light and the dark. Our joy and happiness is going to help balance out their dark. And also, don't be afraid to be giving messages or try and you know offer words of wisdom or advice. Sometimes they don't want it, right? Something about chocolate cake here too. The King of Pentacles. Got a glass of wine and some chocolate cake. Like, yeah, it's okay to indulge. It's okay to have fun. Because we're here to have a human experience. And this is part of the human experience is tasting and trying out new things, right? 
But there's a sense of not overindulging, correct? Alchemy, yeah. Like you're bringing that into balance. Let me put my other spectacles on. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrance of the magic that we all hold inside of us. Each one of us has the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation, which is this, what I said in the beginning, right? You're being given the gift of having access to the higher realms, uh, Akashic records, and more hidden knowledge, wisdom. Hmm. All right, this deck next, so... You have the number of synchronicity, 8, 9, 10. So that's uh, taking the steps for a little while. They just showed me 1, 2, 3, 4 also. So maybe now, <clears throat> at the beginning of your awakening healing journey, you were seeing 1, 2, 3, 4, and 11, 11, 3, 3, you know, all the triple numbers. And now you're going to be seeing <clears throat> 7, 8, 9, 6, 7, 8, 7, 8, 9, etc. Uh, and that's just validation that you're ascending to those higher levels of consciousness and awareness and that expansion within you. What is this card? Genesis. Number 24, number 6. So there's one thing that they want to point out is that being of service doesn't always mean doing or giving. Sometimes it just means being. And my I myself, I had to come... Like, that's what I've been trying to deal with the past few months, was just being. Like, just being and living life and not trying to focus so hard on being of service to everybody. The term light worker was first coined by author and teacher Michael Murdad relatively recently in the early 80s. So there's that name, Michael, Archangel Michael of Significance. <clears throat> being a star seed was a religious practice founded on radical individualism and that's what you're doing you're stepping into this radical state of individuality and i was looking up genesis the origin or formation of something <clears throat> oh yeah so that's where you originated from was light you are a star seed okay and that's different there's different star seed systems out there pleiadian lemurian uh, this is the Lemurian deck, I do believe. But there's Arcturian, Anunnaki. I mean, the list goes on. Pleiadian, um, Atlantean. So you will be getting, if you're wondering what, what star system you're from, just ask your guides and then you'll probably get, you know, the answer pretty quickly. Prosperity. Allowing prosperity to come in. The light and the passion that's being activated within you, okay? Like your, <clears throat> we've got Bastet here, Talret and Geb. I don't know how to pronounce those honestly, but I know Bastet. She's the cat, you know, could be something relevant with a cat. You just received a black kitty. You see in black kitties, it's not, it's not bad luck, my love. It is very, it's a very prominent sign of something that's creating, coming into form for you. Creating a union and power fruitfulness and understanding inner individuality and your wisdom and how it's okay <clears throat> to ex um, express your individuality and the esoteric knowledge that's coming in towards you could be really drawn to the aurora borealis bucket list anybody hell yeah also i just saw like a plane so it's parachuting out of a plane maybe what else do you want to let the starseeds, lightworkers, earth angels know for group one? And, you know, for some, you could be starting this journey of radical aloneness, you know. Um, maybe we were party hardy or we were very used to having a lot of connections every day, whether it be in our friends or family group. We were always in communication with somebody or we felt like we had to be in communication with somebody, right? So that could be... Um, a cycle that you are learning also is changing and growth through, you know, and I promise you, you are not alone though. I've been there. There's, you know, 144 other thousand people that are going through it as well and who have been going through it, okay? You are not alone. I promise you, you're going to find that soul group, the people that you can really resonate with. I being one of them, okay? started to come out, but they didn't. We like it when they fly out, though, huh? 
Shaka shaka. Thank you. Those are probably the same ones that tried to flip over, huh? Oh my god. Because you hold the healing light, group one. Where am I going to put you? Okay. Let's take this card first. <gasps> Kindred partnerships. That's what I was just talking about as I was shuffling. Look, people. Number one. There's a new beginning, okay? Some of you, you are experiencing an en en enig enigmatic. I can't. E-N-I-G-M-A-T-I-C. An enigmatic connection with your soul person. Um, those who are still single or whatever right now, you can feel that connection. You know they are there. You know it's like you're going to be that beacon lighthouse. They're coming towards you, okay? Because you hold the healing light. You give the healing light. You are a vessel, a conduit for spirit, okay? Like we said here, the spirit brings it down into you and you you release it. You are the bridge between the, the other realms and the earth plane. <laughs> Angels of the Four Directions. Okay. So there was... A, okay, I think this was a personal read that something about the Four Directions came out in. So I'm going to have to send that to her. Another card saying Spirit, but look, this is 8 and number 4. <clears throat> August 4th. That's already passed. That was a couple of days ago. There could have been some sort of epiphany or aha. Or that could have been where you're starting to... Um, that could have been the day that you're solo journey is starting you know the kindness and, and nurturing ourselves and focusing on our inner work instead of focusing on everything and everyone else around us yeah focusing on your on your transformation something about constellations here too because right now you are this you're becoming this you're the student and you are walking onto this path to be teacher what's the next card <sighs> Uh, yeah, because you're taking steps towards it. You're taking steps towards, you know, and also something about like royalty. Okay, you might get this message later on that you were like divine royalty and Anunnaki. I just heard the word Anunnaki, so that might resonate. And also, they're showing me the show. I can't remember what channel or what network it's on, but it's called Resident Alien. It's super funny, but he's an Anunnaki and. He's quite tall with the, the the large eyes and, you know, maybe has an extra set of arms. I'm not sure. I feel like group one had extra arms too. Or, I'm sorry, group two. The vast universe. And this is reminding me of the Aurora Borealis over here. Like, it's so expansive. Like, we are really just these little minute fleas, uh, specks of consciousness in a huge, vast, limitless infinite universe <laughs> oh lord okay so see the consciousness with this victim mentality okay this could be what you're working through right now you know bl blaming other people's how dare they did this to me okay look there's no judgment or shame i'm trying to put on anybody i'm just reading what i'm reading in the cards okay number seven could be a significance when you see seven 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 that's a sign that you've got a lot of spiritual beings around you trying to help you work through this okay it's time the activation is now and so as long as we acknowledge it for what it is you're it's something that you've tied yourself to he's tied to the bed here but let's get another card you're coming through that okay something you were back and forth about was it my fault was it their fault well they said these things to me they did these things to me but it's all in you know how we view the perspective right so there's some new perspective coming out and this really quickly is going to happen for you in this releasement so you can ascend to higher awareness or ascend further on into your journey okay this is going to happen yeah uh, mentally something's going to come in okay this could be you realizing how much of a victim they were as well like a lot of people are you know i'm not trying to take their side but we still have to have compassion and understanding for those who did us wrong right and a lot of them are dealing with their own emotional trauma, you know, like my, the person who triggered my whatever, he had a lot of neglect in his life and a lot of belittlement and degrading. And I'm just actually just not realizing that. So we're all dealing with our own unhealed trauma, right? There's another tarot card that wants to come out. Yeah. The people that were shady and stuff like the visions things are going to be coming to light ideas awareness it could have been just something as simple as somebody saying something to you but for somebody here group one i feel this is strongly involving another co a previous connection 
okay? And these people were our spirit mate, our spirit mates, okay? Instead of soul mates, maybe they want to use spirit mates. You know, our families are soul mates. Anybody we've ever been in any kind of relationship are our soul mates. So the true, <laughs> your true twin flame journey, which some of you haven't even started it yet. Yeah, okay, walking away. So you're solo, it's not a twin flame journey at this moment for you. Some of us could even have twin flames, like our twin flames doesn't always have to be romantic. They could be our, our brother or our sister, you know, something that really mirrored us, okay? Some, they just showed me twins too, so sets of twins. They are, they are twin flames for each other. It's not romantic, right? Let me see what your affirmation is going to be. And then that's going to be it. The worker. I enjoy getting in touch with who I am as an individual. That just goes hand in hand. I'm going to flip that over too if you would like to read that again. Is that my ego or is that us needing more messages? The inspiration. I allow inspiration to fill me so I can inspire others. And that's exactly what you're doing is taking steps. Because believe it or not, you're going to help a lot of people on their journey and their awakening and their ascension. You're helping, you're probably helping a lot of people who are in this state right now in this consciousness victim mentality. Group one, this is all I have for you, my lovely light workers and star seeds. Um, I hope it resonated. Earth angels as well, chosen ones, whatever you resonate with. I hope it helped. If it did, hit that like and subscribe button for me and make sure you check out some of the other things, specifically the life purpose pick a cards on the playlist tabs in, in one of the sections, okay? Or you can just scroll. There's a lot of videos on my channel, okay? Love and light. All right, group two, you might usually pick group three in my pick cards because it is on the verge of being 333. So I felt drawn to talk about that. And then also, whenever I put you up, I picked you back up to start your, your read and this card came out, so. I think I'm going to use some of the deck for this one. Okay, you could be really tied to Egypt. I have my other Egypt cards over here as well. So, ancient Egyptians, and also heard Lemurian, okay? So, let's see. Reclaiming your energy. Okay, through... They're showing me a vulture, too. Vultures are not a bad sign. Vultures are pure, pure purification. They purify. You know, they eat the diseased, dead, rotting things and they are able to ingest it and and release it right so they're very so that's what you're doing you're going through a death and rebirth okay our energy is our responsibility and how we give it away becomes a conscious choice as we step into empowerment and yes it is possible to restore the fragments of self we gave away before we came to this awareness and that's that's what you're doing you're you're going through this death and rebirth cycle you're going to go through a lot of death and rebirths and you're reclaiming and restoring those fragments, especially those who have had really bad, you know, um, trauma in their lives, physical trauma. You have the power to own your energy and choose where you direct it. If you are not at your optimal vibration, <clears throat> consider the core of why this may be. Detach from depleting influences and boost positivity. It is up to you to make the shift, transform your life by choosing healing and self-empowerment. Kickstart the upward spiral to abundant energy and soul presence. Um, it could be really drawn to water. This is uh, an aqua colored necklace, very sparkly here. The water babies I'm hearing. I feel like turning this card over. Release your cares to God. Oh, that I had wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. Okay, and this card literally, there's a lot of purple. These colors tie into each other. Okay, do you see that? Anyways, they're talking here about resting. Detach from depleting influences, which is um, people, there's energy vampires out there, and then <clears throat> also uh, substances. Okay, and also you could be overworking, you, uh, overworking yourself, working too many shifts at work. I just saw the word shift. So... 36 or number 9, September could be a significance. There's a big change coming in September for you. I feel like getting more cards from this deck. Hold on, Spirit, and we'll do that in just a moment. Let's see what this card is. Healing. Holy crap, rest and healing. 
The frequency of healing supports our intrinsic ability to restore our health and wholeness by consciously using the information that comes to us through our senses and harmonizing everything accordingly. And literally, they're talking about resting and healing. And this card is talking about resting and healing, right? Wow. See, I can't make this up. My little star seed of light workers. Water babies. Atlanteans, Atlantis, okay. Uh, mermaids just popped up too, so maybe you're seeing mermaids or you've been really drawn to, you know, the whimsical fairy tales of mermaids. The little mermaid. Air. Coming up for air. Resting, rejuvenating the air. <laughs> okay, yeah. Then there's water. There's focus on your shift. This is talking about shift too. It is up to you to make the shift. It is up to you to obtain that focus, okay? Because you're going through some sort of, could be going through some sort of physical illness or uh, depleting health, you know, thing. And you're just like, you know, you don't even have the energy. You come home and you, you want to go straight to bed. There are people in your household that you can delegate tasks to. And there's also, like maybe you, group two, maybe you've gotten this message. Others asking others for assistance. So. If you need help having somebody watch the kiddos for a little while, if you need to, look, with friendship on the bottom, yeah, let your friends help you. The number synchronicity, 8, 9, 10, and you've got 9, 9, 9. 36, 3 plus 6 is 9, the number 9, and then 18, the 1 plus 8 is 9, so 9, 9, 9. Cycles. This is what you're healing through and you're ending is all these completions and these cycles, and then you're starting, okay, some of them entail boundaries. Boundaries within yourself now, telling our, our ego self the masculine side of ourselves no we we have to rest because we're in a position where either we keep working ourselves and we work ourselves to death or into something uh, a lot harsher for our physical body our physicality or we we rest and take the time so we have time so we have the time to restore that inner strength and rejuvenate and replenish so we can work when the time comes this is a part of your karmic path though. We've got number eight and number eight, okay? This is part of your karmic path to set boundaries with yourself and you know, you're gonna have to learn, look, I know you need me there, but I, I really need to take some time off because if I don't take this day off or if I don't get my hours cut a little bit, I, I don't know, you probably need the finances, but you need, you need to trust that all will be well, okay? Everything is always okay in the long run. Everything always turns out for the betterment, right? For you, it always works out somehow. You, you need to let your person, whatever that's depleting your energy, you need to let them know, look, I, I could take this time off, this day off, I need an extra day off, or I just can only work five hours, whatever, because if I don't, like, it's honest communication here, maybe that's a boundary you need to set with yourself, if I don't, then I'm going to deplete myself, and then you're going to end up having, I'm going to end up being, you know, out of pocket, you know, out of the workspace for a week, you know, it's just, I'm pushing myself really hard here and I can tell my body's screaming at me I have to rest boss I have to do this or you're gonna you might regret it later and then I might have to take even more time off that's where we're going with that affluence being an affluence like the other people who are calling in you've got a lot of growth here though spiritual cleansing through this growth soulmate also meditation will help safe travel coming up for you but um Back to the soulmate. So we're changing. Uh, yeah. Love yourself first. Love your, your self-respect makes you more romantically attractive. So again, putting yourself first. Worrying about you and your own. Let's go to this next to deck. Group two. This is like you. Physicality. I just keep hearing the word physicality. Oh, if I had the wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. A deep, a deep cleansing, a deep replenishment is trying to happen within you. Because you're going through a significant rebirth and transformation process. Group two. Water, water, water. If you can't find yourself to eat anything, at least try to, you know, get some water in you. We've got energy number seven with joyous fun. Okay, part of healing is treating yourself good, too. Going out and doing fun things. Splurging a little. Making that extra, you know, okay, well, yeah. Yeah, let's do it, okay? 
you can always talk to the pe the electric company, the water company, and say, hey, I, I got to stretch it a little bit. Can you give me an extension? Because there are ways. There's ways around stuff. Something's going to work out, though. We've got victim mentality and present power. Group one had that card, too. I'm seeing here with the bed and then the overwhelming and back to the resting and oh my god I feel so guilty I don't think you're playing victim here okay you are far from it group two you're very stubborn hard-headed and you want to go 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 and do 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 and you know experience everything present power is within your family friends and guides but it's like you're fighting yourself on knowing what you need to do it's an emotional roller coaster I heard and like lo and behold we have a roller coaster thing in the background, right? <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> 30, 53 on the timer over there. So a focus is a shift on into joyous fun and healing. Letting your inner child play, my loves. Letting that inner child be free, okay? And your present power, you're shifting into some sort of primal present power here. And the victim mentality is with the water card here too. So an emotional state, you know, not feeling ashamed, not feeling guilty. And these are the things that you're working through too. The shame, the guilt, the lust, the envy, the greed, the wrath, you know, all the seven whatever. The sloth, peace with intention. Two swans here, okay, you're going to start seeing swans if you're not already... After this read, this one is your spirit animal right now. So he has cut it, cut his losses, okay? And I'm noticing the tie here too. And he's he, he let something loose. So something here that needs to be shed and released, and then you can release it, you know, into the ocean. Using water okay, water is very healing for you. This is this is why water has come up. Um, next to a river, um, a, a, a video of a river even, you can, ima you can just envision that that river is literally flowing through your vessel and helping you to release what you no longer need and what you need to release right now, okay? And actually with this air, air is <clears throat> the sword energy in tarot, so I feel like that's what's coming through here. It's men mentality, right? And then there's that. And then, of course, loss with the water, you know, you could be shedding and, he and shedding and releasing by grieving and crying. And there's parts of yourself that are dying. It's those parts of you that you no longer need. Like, you're reclaiming your energy, and by doing so, we're having to release these aspects of our, our ego. You know, the, the not-so-great parts. The, the jealous, the wrath, the envy, the lust, the greed, okay? I'm just calling it how I see it. Don't take offense, please, okay? This is a huge milestone you're achieving. You're in the process. And again, I'm going to say it again because I like to repeat myself. A huge, significant fucking death and rebirth. A huge transformation. This is a great achievement for you and a milestone. And there is peace, okay? You're looking out here. That's Usually that's very peaceful, right? There is peace coming toward you. Keep your eye on the prize. Keep looking out. Keep keeping the hope. Intuition through manifestation. What is that card, spirit? What's intuition through manifestation? It, into intention also. Did we have a card that was talking about intention? Okay, two cards came out. Planning and action. Discovery. Ooh, discovering the great gold within you. That light within you. The power within you, okay? Tigers here. So tigers and swans group too. And also roses and skulls. I've been seeing a lot of skulls lately too. And that's, oh. So now I'm like, I literally just had this aha moment where by seeing skulls, it's telling me, and oh my God, I just looked over here at my little thing. Oh, fortunate. And there's a skull and crossbones right there. It doesn't mean there's, for some it's death, you know, but for me it means, um, uh, a consciousness rebirth. Oh my God. Okay. So yeah. So you're you're something's being <sighs> released from you. Some form of stuck energy around the mentality of something, perspective or whatever. And then also, you know, you're finding that 
Okay, I have to plan and have to take action. I have to plan a manifestation, but now I have to follow my intuition to take action. Last card on that. <gasps> Towards a creative endeavor. We've got uh, whatever that is. A cello or a huge violin. I don't know. An easel, painting, artistic creation, okay? It's a milestone. Indulge those creative aspects, okay? Because there's hidden motivation within you, group two. That you just, you don't even know yet. Sometimes the, okay, fear and deception, dark thoughts. This is what you're coming out of. And you're stepping into this vibration of oh, make your life a moving prayer. You're stepping into great gratitude with your higher self. Okay, there's an increase. Okay, they want me to cut the deck. There's an increase in connection and intuition with your higher self and your present power. An intuition, uh, uh, an increase in the healing light within you. It's an accelerated thing with a number eight here. Family, friends, guides. Okay, so I kept getting drawn to this deck too. So I'm going to do this. Look, al alchemizing. Alchemizing. Group one got this as well. The frequency of alchemy activates our magical ability and remembrances of the magic that we all hold inside. Each one of us has the potential. And look what she's, she's like literally got something she's holding inside, right? Each one of us holds the potential to access the ancient knowledge that allowed the true alchemist to perform the miracles of transmutation. And that's what you're doing. You're, tra you're transmuting these, this fear, the dark thoughts, the deception into, look all of this darkness here. And you're transmuting it and releasing it and letting it go and shedding. And you're transmuting it into peace and gratitude and action and, and achievements and great milestones and manifestation. The heart chakra. Anything else here for group two? And then we'll... We'll come to an end for group two. Consciousness, yeah. Again, with the the skulls and the crossbones, like it's something because the consciousness resides in our in our knocker, right? <laughs> Is that what we call that? Our knocker? <laughs> I don't know. What's it? Something's not. Something's knocking. I don't freaking know. I don't know why I called it a knocker. Um, the frequency of consciousness supports our ability to focus our attention on all multi-dimensional aspects that show up. So that we can include them in our reality. So there's some sort of multidimensional part of yourself that's showing up. Or that's going to be showing up. Something you didn't know that you had in you. Something, an interest, a hobby, uh, some sort of passion. I don't know. A reignition. And it's from past life also. Now I feel like getting past life deck. So... Maybe we weren't ending it. See, sometimes I can't tell if it's more or <laughs> if it's my ego going, hey, let's do it more because we're on a roll. You know what I mean? So <clears throat> even I have a hard time discerning ego from intuition or, oh, shit. Yeah, there's the land just monk or nun vows. So there was something, what you're releasing is a vow of chastism too, I hear. Somebody could be releasing a vow of chastism. It could be your partner too. Greco-Roman on wisdom. I feel like, what else are you pointing at, unicorn? Medicine man or woman, and scribe or writer. So it's very healing for you to write. Um, you do like arts and crafts though too, some sort of writing. <clears throat> you could be writing stories or writing, you know, sketching, doodling. Pay attention to the little symbols that you doodle too, okay? Excuse me activating into your higher hierarchy spiritually okay this is from your father's side these are from your father's descendants okay could be dealing with some emotional abandonment or fear of abandonment from a father figure that you might feel had orphaned you but then we've got ships and there's a ship here trust and have faith your ship's going to come in the ships that you're set sailing free okay you can imagine also that you're putting these dark thoughts these fears these doubts on a giant ship and they're sh sailing the fuck away from you and and sailing into the pink and orange light of transmutation okay just as long as we're we've set the intention that these these lower vibe energies are going to be transmuted okay and at some point they'll go where they need to or they'll come back to us right 
Michael, 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 Archangel Michael, okay? There's forgiveness and peace. That's your peace here is the forgiveness for yourself, group two. Wherever the peace freaking card went. You, you, rem you remember it, right? <laughs> I'm making a damn mess. Here it is. All right. Because uh, you're, you're being held in high honor. You're experiencing a knighthood. Okay, you could have been a knight in a past life too. Uh, they want me to go to this other deck. This other past lives deck. Magic. Sorcerer or sorceress. An alchemist. Illusionist. Wiccan. Okay, so the past life thing here. The trauma was loss of status or reputation. So right now this could be a fear of letting your true self be known. Or letting people know that you have these exquisite and all amazing gifts and abilities. So there could be fear of rejection here because of past life that happened. You know, um, ridiculed or whatever. Persecuted. And you might not be able to deal with the cold very well. Is it hypothermia? Maybe you're afraid of water too. You might have died of hypothermia. The location says Oshinia. I don't know if that's like a Atlantic location or what. Oshinia. You might want to look that up because we do have Atlantis here too, didn't we? Where the crap did it go? Here it is. Could be drawn to dolphins as well. Um, with love, it says affair. So maybe you're a little worried about your divine counterpart and going through some trust issues at times or even trust issues with yourself there was a fair and a fair or, don't get me wrong you could have been dealing with that and trying to forgive and heal too from this this life but it's from a past life too the loss of status or reputation so you were you were knocked down to size you were you were cut down i heard the word shamed you were shamed okay the lesson is within your power and knowing like I mentioned about <clears throat> the ego while ago <clears throat> and not getting too much of a, on our high horse too or having that know-it-all attitude or my way is the best way like I've been having to deal with that within my family dynamics too like oh well I'm not always right about everything like sometimes my judgment for somebody else isn't the best judgment and path for them to take right the identity is a grandparent so connection with a grandparent and your grandparent could have ties to medicine men or medicine woman. Some sort of hierarchy here for you, group two. Listening to the wisdom from them. Yeah, because we're all ancient souls. A lot of us have been here. Get, don't be afraid to give in to passion. There's that music, creative endeavor. And then water magic again <clears throat> with the dolphin. <clears throat> Look into water magic. Look into what you can do. Look into how you can use it to heal and transform yourself and speed this process up because you... And only you have the ability to speed it up. And as long as we're stand, willing to stand in that accountability and everything and acknowledgement, then you're going to be good as gold, okay? You're, you're doing exquisitely good. This is all I have for you. I hope it helped. I hope it resonated. I hope to hell somebody's getting these messages because these are per pretty profound and awesome messages. Hit the like and subscribe button for me, please. And feel free to comment below, okay, my loves? Happy healing to you. It's going to be fine. And it's so worth it in the end, okay? Just know that you're going to be able to overcome whatever the universe throws at you. Whatever comes up unexpectedly, okay? There's some really good stuff coming in that's unexpected too. You're going to make it through any seemingly hardships. Keep in mind it's all about the perspective and how we want to view it, right? And on that closing note, I've got focus on God's love. Make every effort to keep yourselves united in the spirit, binding yourselves together with peace. That know that he has a plan, okay? Because he has pure and unconditional love for you. Speak to the earth and it will instruct you. Let the fish in the sea speak to you. So again with the water energy here. Oh God. And then we have this huge eagle here. Look at it, Looking at it from a higher perspective. Getting wisdom is the wisest thing you can do. And we've got this wisdom. Wisdom and vows, okay? You're bringing something, some vows from a past life into this life. Okay, you took this vow. Took the solid oath to come over here to break these things break these mentalities break the chain break the patterns <laughs> and leave a trail as you walk the earth in wisdom you have made them all wow 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 okay i'm gonna stop there i could keep going probably but you know time's a ticking and i got things to do 
Just know you're opening a new chapter. Hold yourself with pure and unconditional love. And whenever you find it's getting foggy, bogged down, stuck energy, move into that aspect of gratitude. Go outside, get your feet planted in the dirt. And ask spirit to help come in to you, to help you release or see whatever it is you need to in the situation, okay? Love and light.